I didn't say anything. I didn't give any spoilers away, I promise. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a book review for you guys because I haven't done one in so, so, so long and I apologize for that. But before I get into the actual book review, I want to talk about my rather drastic haircut that I just recently had. Um, and I personally love it. This is actually the shortest my hair has ever been. Um, like obviously when I was a baby it was shorter, but like, you know what I mean? I will put in a picture if you want to see what it was before so you kind of have like an idea of the difference. But this is what it looks like now and I think it is so cute and fun and I think it's really complimentary to my face shape which is always good. And I just kind of love it. I hope you guys like it too. Um, I cut off about two-ish inches around there and I got a lot of layers put in. I got my layers reversed from being in the back to the front so I have face framing layers now and I absolutely love it. And if you have any other questions about my haircut, definitely let me know down below. But I, I love it. I think it looks so good. So anyways, I hope you guys like it too. And let's get started with this book review. I am so excited to talk about this book because I read it about two weeks ago, maybe not even, and I fell in love with it and I really wanted to share it with you guys. I actually Instagrammed a photo of it. I didn't ex even expect to love it as much as I did and that is The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson and this is, that's Graham, right? Yes, it is. Let's just agree. This is a fairly new book and it's actually a international number one bestseller, which usually a good sign when it's a bestseller, usually. So let me tell you a little bit about the main character, Don Tillman, and he is actually a genetic scientist, which is very interesting. Um, I mean, obviously for myself, I don't think I would ever want to work with Gene. And he has a very scientific mind, and he is not very social. He doesn't have the best social skills. At the age of 39, I think he is in the book, he decides that he wants to find a life partner, so therefore he creates The Wife Project, which is a questionnaire with a series of just kind of random questions about the person um, to answer. and kind of help him decide if this person is like worth his time or not basically. He ends up meeting a woman named Rosie. She comes to Dawn in search of her biological father's genes and wants to know who her biological father is. So they kind of end up going on this hunt together and he calls it the father project to figure out who her father is and this and that. And as they go along, as imagined, they kind of start having feelings for one another. And I do not want to give away any spoilers because that's not my thing. So definitely read this book if you want to figure out. But um, obviously something happens because it's called The Rosie Project. So like something happens that makes it The Rosie Project. I could really relate to both the characters. Don is so organized and like task oriented. He's, whereas Rosie is the complete opposite and sort of lives her life in like a haze and does all these random things. and. The way she lives her life kind of um, rubs off on Dawn and they end up sort of doing these fun things together that he never would normally do. It's a very positive book which I also appreciated. I love the positivity of, you know, there's someone out there for you to love, for everyone to love and to be loved back by and the fact that he's not really certain if he can feel love or if he is even capable of like yeah, expressing love for anyone. So it's a very interesting book. It definitely makes you wonder, but most of all, it's just really, really, really fun to read. The author is so amazing. I read that this is his first book, so I can just imagine that the sky's the limit for this guy because he's so crazy talented. It's such a good book for everyone, and I hope that you guys check it out because it definitely is one of my favorite books that I've read recently, and I would end up staying up to like 1 a.m. reading this book because I was just wanting to know what happens. I love the main character, Dawn, and at first I was like, I'm gonna be so annoyed by this character by the end of it, but the thing is, like, he is so relatable. Maybe I don't have like messed up social skills, maybe a little bit, but, um, but I felt like he was someone that I was rooting for. Like, I wanted him to be happy and I wanted him to find love. But I also wanted him to like wake up and like realize that that's not really how you find a wife. Definitely check this book out if you want. I will leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out. And I hope you all are having an amazing day. Once again, definitely leave me comments on my new hair down below because I'm in love with it. I'm so excited about it and I hope you guys like it too. And I will see you all so very soon. I will leave some more of my book reviews down below for you guys and I will see you all soon. Have a great rest of your day guys. Bye! Thanks for watching!